Welcome to our morning devotions. We are bringing these to you knowing that some of you are not able to get our devotional booklets um, because they're delivered to the church. We are also given it to you because we realize that many of you are taking walks and listening to things and we invite you to start your day with a word from God. And so I invite you to do these things each and every day as we live our Christian walk and faith. I will start every day by being open to the blessings that God is going to give me. I will realize every day that I am the face of God to everyone I meet. And I will end every day by thanking God for the blessings received and place into God's hands my worries and fears.
Today we read from Christ in Our Home, July, August, September, 2020 edition. It's Wednesday, August 26. We read from Matthew, chapter 26, verses 6 through 13. Now, while Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment, and she poured it on his head as he sat at the table. When the disciples saw it, they were angry and said, Why this waste? For this ointment could have been sold for a large sum and the money given to the poor. Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? She has performed a good service for me. For you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. By pouring this ointment on my body, she has prepared me for burial. Truly, I tell you, wherever this good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. Happy August 26th. The woman comes and breaks open a jar of expensive perfume. The smell fills the space. She bathes Jesus' head and anointing. It's a beautiful moment, but it is about to be spoiled. Jesus has received a great and humble offering, but his disciples are appalled. Jesus sees the gift. The disciples see waste. We are likely more connected to bad news now than any time in history. When communication was global, has global reach and our attention is drawn to scenes of disaster and shouting heads, bad news dominates. But we can see beauty in this world if we put aside our criticism of others. There are gifts to appreciate if we can get past our cynicism. Set down the screen. Take a break from the relentless flow of news. Risk delight in God's creation in a conversation with a neighbor in life abundant around us. Follow Jesus' example of looking for the good in others' actions and extending gratitude and grace. Jesus, Messiah, give us courage to risk delight. Amen.